In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everyone. Another day for ducks out there today, tipping down now. As we gather together this day, as we come before the Lord, let us gather together in his love. For those times when we have turned away from his care, we ask for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ is proclaimed, and that makes me happy, and I shall continue being happy, because I know this will help to save me. Thanks to your prayers and to the help which will be given to me by the Spirit of Jesus. My one hope and trust is that I shall never have to admit defeat, but that now as, I, as always, I shall have the courage for Christ to be glorified in my body, whether by my life or by death. Life to me, of course, is Christ, but then death will bring me something more. But then again, if living in this body means doing work, which is having good results, I do not know what I should choose. I am caught in this dilemma. I want to be gone and be with Christ, which will be very much the better. But for me to stay alive in this body, is a more urgent need for your sake. This weighs with me so much that I feel sure I shall survive and stay with you all and help you to progress in the faith and even increase your joy in it. And so we'll have another reason to give praise to Christ Jesus on my account when I'm with you again. The word of the Lord. My soul is testing for God, the God of my life. The God of my life. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is testing for God, the God of my life. My soul is testing for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My soul is testing for God, the God of my life. I will lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving. My soul is testing for 
God, the God of my life. Shall we rise for the gospel acclamation? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the message of Christ in all its richness find a home with you. Through him, give thanks to God the Father. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now on a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone for a meal to the house of one of his one of the leading Pharisees, and they watched him closely. He then told the guests a parable, because he had noticed how they picked the places of honour. He said this. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the seat in the place of honour. A more distinguished person than you may have been invited, and the person who invited you both may come and say, give up your place to this man. And then, to your embarrassment, you would have to go and take the lowest place. No, when you are a guest, make your way to the lowest place and sit there. So that when your host comes, he may say, My friend, move up higher. In that way, everyone with you at the table will see you honoured. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the man who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. The response to today's beautiful psalm. How often though can we say that our soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life? Sometimes the worries and distractions of this world take us away from that yearning and that thirsting. And sometimes we neglect to realise that indeed, for all of us, our destiny is for God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. May that be true for all of us this day. So let us offer our petitions and prayers before the Lord this day. We pray for the Church and all of God's holy people, that we may always thirst for God's love in the midst of our lives. Lord, in your mercy, for the needs of our world during these days, a world troubled often by war and conflict and a lack of peace, We pray that there may be justice. We pray for an end of war and conflict amongst the nations. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all victims of terror. We remember especially those who died recently in Nice and all those who will die because of selfish acts of others this day. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who are sick, especially during these times, those waiting on medical procedures, that they may be given comfort in the midst of their need. Lord, in your mercy, as we approach the month of November, let us remember the holy souls and all those who have died. We pray that they may rest with God in his love. Lord, in your mercy, And we ask for the prayers of Mary, Queen of Heaven, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death.
And we make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
keeping in our hearts and minds those who are unable to join us from us at this moment. Those joining us on the live stream and YouTube, we make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, increase our faith. Sorry. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is held.